Elementary OS is a Linux distribution based on Ubuntu LTS, which offers a desktop interface reminiscent of macOS thanks to the Pentium desktop. In summer of 2021, Elementary OS 6, codenamed Odin, based on Ubuntu 2004 LTS, will be released after a long period of development. Just a few months later, just before Christmas 2021, version 6.1, codenamed Yolnia, was released. Version 6.1 corrected the criticisms of version 6, making version 6.1 a very good and smooth running release. In early 2022, the developers announced plans for version 7. This should be based on Ubuntu 2204 LTS. The development version has been available for test purposes for a monthly rate of pay since around about February. But in March, details about discrepancies at Elementary Inc. leaked out on Twitter. Founding member Daniel Four and Cassidy Bleed are at odds, while Cassidy James informed Daniel Four at short notice about a new professional challenge, there are now disputes over shares in the company and voting rights. Regardless, Elementary Inc. has run into financial difficulties. Due to the corona pandemic, sales have been collapsed so that the fixed costs are higher than the monthly income. The company is currently facing two problems, the financial difficulties and the dispute of the founders. Both difficult tasks. While attempts were made to avert the financial problems, with salary cuts, the dispute between the founders has now reached the point where both only communicate through lawyers. Four takes the position that whoever resigns also loses the right to vote and should be paid out the shares. Bleed does not want to lose his shares at the level offered, nor his voting rights. He wishes to remain liable to vote even though he is no longer employed by Elementary Inc. The effects are already visible. The development of OS 7 already seems to have stalled. Pentium hasn't had any package lately. The updates that are currently coming are the Ubuntu packages. Ubuntu 2204 has not yet been released finally and therefore many patches are still coming in the Ubuntu layer. But while there were numerous Pentium patches in the beginning, nothing seems to come now at the moment. Elementary OS offered many good ideas. First of all, the Pay What You Want App Store and the consistent graphical user interface. Clear design specifications ensured a uniform appearance of the apps. Those were all great ideas. However, it is unclear whether Elementary Inc. will survive the disputes and financial problems. The Pentium desktop could be supported and further developed by the FOSS community. That's to be hoped too, because the loss of Pentium desktop like Elementary OS would be very serious and unfortunate. Let's hope that both Elementary Inc. and Pentium will survive this crisis. Peace. Thank you.